Hi everyone, thanks for joining us again. Ange McCabe here from Intuity Performance Workplace Training, Coaching and Facilitation. Here with me today, of course, is Marie Helen Ryder, co-owner of Nearby Planet VR. And we are uh, excited to chat with Karen Casey, owner and photographer of Casey & Co Photography Studio. Hi, Karen, Hi. how you doing? Hey. Business, exactly. Um, well, I'm a professional photographer slash travel agent, and um, but deep down, I'm a lot much more than that. I I say that I'm uh, a documenter of some of the most special moments um, that should never be forgotten in someone's life, right? So from the tears in your father's eye when they give you away to your Prince Charming, or um, that kiss that you know seals the deal at your wedding day. When you bring home your first family member um, through the, the growth of like all the toothless smiles and the bad haircuts that, we, <laughs> that happen, um, I'm there to document all that, right? So that, um, and I believe that all our special moments are like interconnect, interconnected like, like a circle and they're timeless. So a photographer is a lot much more than just someone taking snapshots. Um, we were there to document and all your memories. But I feel that um, being a photographer, I'm definitely passionate about what I do. And I feel dedicated and um, sometimes even a little half crazy, but that's okay. But mostly so, um, it's a great honor to be able to be surrounded by all the, the beautiful images that I've that um, inspire me and as well the great customers along the years that, um, that let me take part of of their families and their special days. Um, that's really my, my photography business, but there's also the component um, about a year and a half ago that I became a travel agent. And what inspired me to do that is that I was doing a lot of destination weddings um, for people where I was going with them. So to me, make that transition a lot easier for them, I um, decided to become a travel agent where I can be able to, to book that whole trip, fi like finalize everything for them and then actually be their photographer on their day. So it's a pretty big bonus when your travel agent is actually a photographer and they, you're traveling with both, right? Mm -hmm. So that has become a big trend um, in the photography business, but I just wanted to, to make it more of a, um, a one-stop shop for people to be able to make it more of a unique um, offer. Mm -hmm. That sounds amazing. And how, how, how long have you been doing uh, Karen and Casey? So um, I've been a photographer for 14, going on 14 years. I mean, I picked up a camera at a very young age and I knew that this is what I, I want to do. And that's what I absolutely love to do. Um, uh, before Casey and Co, the business was called Karen Casey Photography and had been for 13 years or so. And just recently when I became a travel agent, rebranded um, to Casey and Company. And then there's Casing Company Photo Studios, and then Casing Company The Travel Connection, which is the the agency um, for for travel. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Uh, it sounds like there's multiple ways that your clients can have a lot of intimate customization to the services that you're offering. Sounds great. Definitely, because um, it's not just. I mean, weddings is a big part of what I do, mm -hmm. but there's also. Um, um, like family pictures and you know, where like could we find you um so i'm on all the social platforms so you can find me like on facebook and instagram and website of course so facebook it's kc and co photo mm -hmm. um and instagram as well so it's, i have um, a logo with like teal circles that represent the, the circle of life and that kind of stuff and the camera lens and um, on my website, it's kcinco.ca. Perfect. Nice and easy to remember. Yes. <laughs> and t tell us a little bit, um, how has COVID-19 impacted your respective businesses? Um, overnight, my business has, has closed. So my studio, I can't function at, um, with the social distancing. So all studio um, business has, has ceased since yes. then. Um, but I have been able to um, put a little bit, a few different twists to, to what I do. Uh, it is definitely very hard when you're, you're leaning into one of the like 
had and it's really good and then all of a sudden overnight everything shuts down and it's very scary right mm -hmm. um so a lot of businesses have switched over to um curbside or um, that that kind of stuff so what i've been able to provide them is some product photography um where they can drop off their products to my door and i photograph um photograph them so they can make it their online stores or they can um do that kind of stuff Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. Sounds like you're doing a great job in realigning or pivoting with the conditions. That's a great idea. Well, I've, you know, two or three years ago, I, I've been doing product photography for quite some time, but I hadn't really focused much energy on that. But when you need to be a little bit more creative on how to, to help. So, like, for example, um, our local farmer's market, they um, became super innovative and built a website to be able to order your, um, your products for all these different vendors. You, go, you pop your trunk, you pay for it, pop your trunk, they put it in the trunk and you drive away. So contactless, it's been great. But they needed some photos to be able to show that they're selling certain carrots or turnip or meat or whatnot. So um, I was able to help that way as well. So that's... Um, it's been keeping me busy for sure. Yeah, it's great. It's good to keep busy with the different creative projects. So um, if you could say or tell people one thing that to, to stay positive and to help pivot their business right now, what would that be, do you think? Um, to help stay positive and pivot their business. So I, I would honestly say that for me, the, there's really three things that I've been doing um, to help me. So one was like, I created a routine. So I worked, I already work from home, but a lot of people haven't. And, but my workplace at home still has changed. My daily routine um, is changed. Like my husband works from home now. Um, so, and, and your energies aren't at the same spot, no matter who mm -hmm. we are at this particular time, because it's so unknown. So I just created a, a new routine. Um, that helped and number two um getting some physical activity so I'd, i would normally go to the gym where my gym's closed so you know walking the dog more often so the, the dog's getting her extra activity as well um and the third would be to stay creative so and that is based on my business but i know that creativity doesn't necessarily have to be taking photos but it could be painting music uh writing all these things um are, it's a pr it's proven that they can help with mental health and and to help throughout these things so i've been going and for example i've been taking pictures of eggs mm -hmm. so for the it started about four days before easter and since then i've been taking pictures of different kind of eggs different color eggs just to be able to take a half an hour each day and go and forget about everything else forget about the news everything going around me and just focus on something that's positive fun and a little bit uplifting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it sounds like a really great idea. Sorry for cutting you off, Marie. It sounds like a really great idea for creative play is what you're saying or what I'm hearing. Yeah. That's awesome. And uh, so if you could, uh, but you're already helping the community with your photography um, where you, you help the farmer's market there. Is there anything else right now whether it's now or in the past or plans for the future uh, for community projects and different things to help out? A um, few things. So one, I've been doing the, um, the porch project. So it was one of the first people in Moncton to set it up. There is a young girl in the States who had, had been doing it. I read an article in the news and I was like, you know what? Moncton totally needs this right now. And it became a, a really big phenomenon in all of Canada, actually. Um, so I've been going around at, at a distance and this is all based on, um, on donations. So there's no, there's no cost associated to it. If you can donate, you can, that's great. If you, if you can't donate, then, then that's okay as well. Mm -hmm. And all the funds were going to help some, some causes here in, in, in the province or in Moncton actually. And so I'm staying at a safe distance and at the end of the driveway and um, just taking a snapshot basically of what's happening in your life from your porch. 
So some people have been dressing up, some people have brought out their barbecues and all their teddy bears or books or cats or dogs, whoever wanted to be in the porch picture. Um, and it brought light to, to my day because I was able to go and do something positive and to be able to create. So both those um, were, were great. And I actually got a lot of feedback on people saying that this was the one thing they look forward to all week um, to actually get dressed and put some makeup on for, for their porch photo. Mm. And, and it's a great documentation as well of, of what's happening. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, a snapshot in time, mm -hmm. but also injecting a little bit of fun in, uh, you know, in a time where we're shifting constantly. So that sounds wonderful. Um, the things that you're doing, Karen, to give back yeah. is absolutely amazing. Um, we had also heard, we wanted to bring it top of mind too. We heard that there was a rumor, there's something coming up in September. Tell us about it. Yes. So... <laughs> Um, every, every two years I did an event called who the shoe are you. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I did two of them. And for the people that don't know about the event is what I did is I, I've been photographing shoes since day one of like, that's my application to get into college. So shoes have always been a big part of my photography, like growth. Um, and so I went and photographed this each time it was about 25, 27 ladies that inspire me, that helped in the community, that has helped me grow my business um, some way or another, um, that had an impact on me. And each shoe has a story. So they wrote a little story about their shoe. Um, I photographed their shoe and them, and then people had to come in and guess whose shoe is who. There was a shoe fashion show, um, sell an auction, live auction to raise money. And the money raised at these events went to help um, either an organization or an ind most of the time was an individual in the community, an individual that would have popped into my life for whatever reason. Um, so the first year I helped somebody that um, she was younger than me, she was in her mid twenties, had got um, cancer and wasn't able to have any children and was going through the process of surrogacy, mm. which is, uh, I had honestly never really heard a lot about it, but once I started doing some research, I thought it was very fascinating. Um, and I was able to help give her some funds to be able to help that process. Wow. Um, and then the second year I was able to help a young lady with a single mom who wanted to get back on her feet and, and another young individual who wanted to go to art school. And I was able to help her there with their art supplies and things like that, because I do believe that um, I came, I went to art school and I know that how much it, it was the foundation of who I am. So I know that, and like I said, creativity and art and is it, is it great for the mental health? So, um, so that, so that it's event like, happened twice. Year, I'm in the work. I've been doing this project called Who the Shoe Are You? Where I photograph the shoes of 25 ladies in my community. And each shoe has a story. So this, the story of the lady, they would write their own little story. And I photograph the shoes based on the environment of their, their shoe. And that whole event, basically, um, I'm able to, to put up a, a shoe fashion show and, um, and I raise money to be able to help um, some, either an organization or it's been really special individuals that have come into my life one way or another. Mm -hmm. And um, the last two um, ladies that I've helped, so the first one was a young lady who at the mid age of like mid 20s, had um, got cervical cancer and wasn't able to, to have her own children after f like finding out after a week or so that she was married. So she popped into my life and um, I was able to help her with her. She was going through the process of doing a surrogate, um, finding a surrogate mom and all that stuff to be able to, to provide them a child. Right. So I thought that was super fascinating and I went and I was able to help them um, with some funds. The, the second year I was able to help a young lady who was um, a single mom with two kids and trying to put her life back into, um, into place after being in a really bad relationship um, and losing her job and that just being um, just in a, in a bad place. So the funds went to, to help her. And the other part of the funds was able to help a young girl who wanted to go to art school. And myself, um, I went to art school and I know how important art is to our mental health and um, 
and I was able to help her with all her art supplies into um, going into school. So this year um, in September, I'll be redoing the event with a different spin. Um, and, and hopefully that there'll most likely still be a shoe concept in there, but I'm going to put into a different spin and make it a little bit, a little bit different. That Versus sounds amazing. It does. And we're super excited to see the unveil. So we'll have to continue to follow you on social media when that drops. Um, Karen, I have to say you're doing some amazing things already in the community. So thank you so much um, for having that spirit of giving back. Um, as small business owners, we also need support. So what would be your ask uh, to our community at this point in time? Um, my ask? Well, uh, of course, purchasing of gift certificates definitely help. It's an instant help. So um, then that way it's able to, to go at a later date when we can get back together and do this session. Um, but for, that's a, a help that helps me. Um, and when it, the event comes around to, to people to purchase tickets and things like that um, throughout the year, or um, anybody that has actually worked with me leaving um, feedback or recommendations on social media or Google mm -hmm. that has helped that will help me in the long run. Um, so now we have, we all have a little bit of downtime. So a little recommendation here and there actually goes, um, goes a long way. Mm -hmm. That's great. Ask. Yeah. And uh, do you have someone you else you would like to nominate for the challenge? It could be anyone in the Atlantic provinces any other small business that could use a little push online? Yep. So what um, I'm thinking, so I have these two wonderful ladies that have helped me um, in multiple ways. So they, their business is called Merrill Marketing, Natalie and Kira. And these two wonderful ladies do so much. Um, they really work on social media content and, and they basically teach you marketing. And so they have pivoted my business. I've learned so much from them. And I think that I would like to uh, nominate them to uh, participate in this. I know that they would have some, some great things to say. Fantastic. That's awesome. That sounds like a great share, Karen. We look to you. Uh, we, we look forward to gaining more information about your nominees uh, offline there. So that's it for us today. We really appreciate your time, Karen. And we want to say to our view viewers, thank you so much for following us. Uh, make sure you check out our Elevate Business Challenge on Facebook. And we have it on our respective social media channels as well, LinkedIn and Facebook and YouTube. Um, if you're interested in joining in on the Elevate Business Challenge, feel free to reach out us, out to us at info at intuityperformance.com. Um, you can email us and we can go from there. Thank you so much. Be well. Bye.